Hi, everybody. Welcome to the 34th annual Art Under the Oaks. This art show has been here 34 years. It is the church's major fundraiser of the year. And that church where we are at is San Pedro Catholic Church. I'm a member. I'm Jill Zima Borski. I'm a local writer and PR person. You can see my articles in the free press each week. And I'm a member of this church, a longtime member of this church. Of course, my kids have gone to Sunday school here. So we have a great volunteer group here today that put this on. So I think we're going to take a little wander and see who's here today. We have some local artists, one who has participated for 33 years, others for a dozen years, and maybe we'll hear from them how come they return year after year. We're going to introduce Claudia Clark. Tell us a little bit about how many years you've been here and what you do as far as your art goes. Hey, this is my 33rd year out of 34. I sell my sewing cloth books and aprons and placemats. And where do you find your wonderful materials? Any place I can. <laughs> Sanibel Island right now has been my favorite place to get nautical fabric. Otherwise, it's Joanne's. And what do you do when you're not doing your art? I think you live in Isla Mirada, is that correct? Oh, I live in Harris Park in Tavernier, but I work in Isla Mirada at the Islander. I work a breakfast buffet, 7 to 11. And you're nearly a native here, right? Born and raised. I love it. There's Claudia Clark. Come see her beautiful material art, fabric Thank art. Morning, where are you all from? We're going to get you on Florida Keys TV. Key West. Brown's Jewelry. We do it with a torch. So look at these beautiful bromeliads. $10. Look how healthy. And they actually clone themselves. You put them in the ground and they'll start, they'll start multiplying. Older Colorado, are you escaping the snow? Hopefully. Have you done this show before? Uh, ten years ago. No. Ten years ago he was here. We enticed him back. Okay, so I'm here with Debbie Hess, and I know her as a teacher, but obviously she has some beautiful talent here. Um, tell us about your good news today. Um, yes, uh, I was um, interviewed on Tuesday by Gabe Sanchez with the, uh, the Upper Keys Weekly, and uh, this came out yesterday and he just came, he interviewed me and just, we just talked about art and um, living in the Keys and um, pretty much just about my process and what I do and, and so it was a fun time. How did you discover her? How did her art come to be displayed in your real estate office? I was fortunate enough to know Debbie before she even realized she was an artist <laughs> and then she started developing her art and of course we're, we're like family and we love each other. So I said, bring your art and show it in our office. We'll show it everywhere we can. So I'm about to sample Florida's best kettle corn. Oh my, look at this. Look at this. Yum. Let's give it a try. It's the best. Fort Lauderdale, Florida. And which one of these teams do you particularly like over here? Well, it's dangerous to say that where I live, but I'm a New England Patriot fan. Oh, boy. And I'm a Packers fan. But you probably have both those teams here, right? I do, absolutely. Yes. Okay. okay, in another year. Hey, tell me about that beautiful puffer fish or something behind you. This is made by a friend of mine, Mary Ann. Mary Ann. That's beautiful. And it's $20? $20 sold. That's a beautiful. How many years have the Boy Scouts participated? Uh, this is actually our first year participating here. Very good. How many how many crew members have you brought out here today? Uh, we have six here so far. Very good. And I know Miss Leanne Rutten's over there collecting money for parking. We've got $5 on-premise parking. And we won't let you go thirsty with the Boy Scouts here selling, selling some water and sodas. Thank you for that. This is Doug Berry. And he does beautiful woodwork, and he knows a little bit about fly boxes. How many years have you done this show? This will be five, I think. Is this your work, sir? This is our work. Yes, yes. it is. Thank you. And where are you from? We're from Cutler Bay, Florida. Okay, yeah, I know where that is. And um, how long have you been doing this? Uh, about four years now. I'm here with Katie, and she's going to tell us a little bit about the beautiful art here. Thank you. Well, we do handcrafted home and bar decor. 
Uh, we do acrylic painting on wood and we waterproof everything so everything is hand painted and can be inside or outside. Every Monday from 11 to 2 uh, we are uh, at Spirit and Truth Church and we um, pray there. I said 11 to 2, it's 11 to 1 so it's kind of a lunch hour. Uh, sometimes we go to 2. Uh, but we would welcome anyone to come by who would like to join us that uh, needs prayer or that has a heart for prayer. Um, it's also a time that you can just sit and be quiet and listen and be at peace. Here we are, 34 years, going strong. Arts Under the Oaks, what a great place to be today. If you don't make it this year, because it's only once, once a year, come back and see us next year. You'll have a great time here at San Pedro.